It began like so many other encounters had, with an assumption. The Nigma Empire, an ancient power sprawling across the stars, had seen and crushed countless species. In their eyes, humanity was no different, another upstart species from a remote blue planet, too small to pose any real threat. Their messengers arrived swiftly, carrying a message laced with superiority. Abandon your colonies near our borders, or suffer the consequences. Humanity's response was measured, concise, and as direct as their alien counterparts had been. Engage at your own risk. The Nigma found the reply almost amusing. They had watched human transmissions, seen their political squabbles and relative lack of galactic presence. As they saw it, humans were like children playing with scraps of technology they barely understood. A minor annoyance, perhaps, but hardly a legitimate threat. Yet the humans had dared to ignore their command, and such defiance could not go unanswered. Nigma strategists plotted a show of force, one that would leave a clear mark without decimating what they viewed as a potential source of future labor. They dispatched a fleet to the edges of human-controlled space, aiming to engage in a swift, decisive assault that would set an example. Their ships glided through the darkness, each brimming with weaponry that had subdued galaxies. They anticipated a quick, effortless submission. The fleet's first encounter with humans occurred near a colony stationed on a barren moon orbiting a gas giant. It was a modest outpost by Nigma standards, housing mining operations and a research center. The Nigma general leading the assault had no intention of negotiating. Instead, he ordered an immediate strike, targeting the human defenses. Blinding beams and bursts of energy flooded toward the colony, tearing through the vacuum with deadly precision. But instead of collapsing under pressure, the human defenses held, just long enough. As their shields buckled, a second line of reinforcement materialized, small, agile human ships, each modified with a blend of plasma-powered technology that caught the Nigma sensors off guard. They dodged and darted, firing volleys that hit harder than the Nigma anticipated, damaging one of their lead ships. It was the first of many surprises that day. Communications crackled as the Nigma commander sneered at what he saw as laughable resistance. He ordered a full offensive, intending to wipe out the entire outpost in a single strike. But the humans seemed to anticipate each maneuver, countering with near-perfect timing. Their defensive tactics were complex, adapting quickly to the Nigma's strategies. Humanity's knowledge of their own vulnerabilities allowed them to exploit the overconfidence of their attackers. The Nigma's confidence began to waver as they noticed the chilling pattern. For every tactic they deployed, humanity had a counter, and a clever one at that. The alien fleet's advanced shielding was breached in ways that should have been impossible, while human ships exhibited a resilience that belied their outwardly unremarkable construction. It was more than just skill, the Nigma commanders realized. Humanity fought with a ferocity they rarely saw in species this young. Their forces didn't retreat in panic or scatter under pressure. They regrouped, adapted, and hit back with startling force. As the skirmish dragged on longer than anticipated, the Nigma leaders grew agitated. They hadn't anticipated this level of resistance. Yet, even in their growing frustration, they convinced themselves that this battle was merely a fluke, a minor setback in what would ultimately be a swift conquest. Before retreating, the humans sent one final transmission to the Nigma fleet. You were warned. We do not seek war, but we will defend what is ours. The Nigma commander scoffed. A threat from such a minor power was laughable. Yet, as they withdrew, they couldn't shake the disquiet lingering among their ranks. It was as though they had encountered something more profound, something that, while appearing inconsequential, carried an unseen weight. Back on their homeworlds, the Nigma High Command reviewed the reports with growing interest. The data was indisputable. Humanity had withstood a force that would have easily subdued others. That resilience and ingenuity unnerved them, even if no one dared voice it aloud. The Empire was not accustomed to such resistance. For the first time in centuries, they felt something unexpected, unsettling, a sensation that their ancient pride had no name for. Humanity had drawn a line, and they had made it clear, any attempt to cross it would not go unchallenged. The Nigma Empire's pride had been bruised. They could not let humanity's defiance stand unpunished, 
especially after that initial retreat. Fueled by indignation, the Empire returned, determined to demonstrate their superiority once and for all. This time, they deployed a far larger fleet, one designed not just to suppress but to obliterate. They meant to teach humanity a lesson that would echo across the stars for eons. As their fleet approached human-controlled space, the Nigma Command expected a relatively simple confrontation. But humanity had not been idle since the last encounter. They had analyzed every detail, studied the Nigma's maneuvers, and adjusted their defenses accordingly. They knew the Empire would return in greater force and had prepared to meet them head-on. The first wave of Nigma ships arrived, unleashing a barrage of firepower that lit up the darkness, the shockwaves rippling across human colonies. The Nigma commanders expected chaos, fear, even desperation from the humans. Instead, they were met with silence, and then a synchronized counterattack. Human forces seemed to materialize out of nowhere, smaller vessels darting between the towering Nigma ships with lethal precision. These human ships, equipped with an upgraded array of plasma weaponry and reinforced by energy shielding systems, punched above their weight. They maneuvered nimbly, attacking from unpredictable angles, forcing the Nigma to scramble. The initial wave of alien ships found itself crippled, with crucial systems failing as human strikes hit their targets with calculated accuracy. Nigma commanders grew more furious with each passing moment. This resistance, this persistence, was unthinkable. They pushed forward, throwing more resources into the assault, only to find that humanity had layered their defenses far deeper than anticipated. Human outposts held ground, and where one outpost fell, others quickly fortified, standing ready to retaliate. Then came a new and unexpected tactic from the humans. Instead of meeting the Nigma head-on, they began employing hit-and-run strikes, utilizing a network of cloaked outposts and well-timed diversions. This guerrilla-style warfare kept the Nigma off balance, pulling their larger ships into narrow sectors where human ships held the advantage. They attacked with unrelenting precision, each strike causing maximum damage before vanishing back into the darkness. The Nigma, despite their overwhelming numbers, were struggling. They were not used to fighting an enemy that adapted so rapidly, and humanity's command structure allowed them a fluidity the rigid Nigma hierarchy could not match. Every countermeasure the Nigma attempted was met with a new human tactic, each more creative than the last. The humans seemed almost to anticipate the Nigma's every move, a maddening realization that struck a nerve with their commanders. Pride turned to anger, and anger quickly soured to frustration. To the Nigma's dismay, humanity's defenses were far from uniform. Each sector brought forth a new combination of weapons, shields, and strategies, as if each battle was a testing ground for humanity's next innovative move. The Nigma were left scrambling, caught off guard by the sheer adaptability of their opponents. But humanity's advantage wasn't merely in tactics. The Nigma discovered with growing alarm that human ships were equipped with AI-driven systems that analyzed and reacted to combat data in real time. Human pilots and command centers were working in near-perfect harmony with these systems, adapting and shifting their approaches with a speed the Nigma couldn't match. As losses mounted, Nigma commanders began calling for retreats, attempting to regroup and formulate a new strategy. Yet even in retreat, the humans offered no respite. Their forces pursued the fleeing Nigma, harassing their flanks, picking off stragglers with ruthless efficiency. Every retreat became a rout, and each rout spread panic among the Nigma's forces. For the first time in the Empire's long history, fear crept into their ranks. They had always been the hunters, the conquerors, the dominant force that crushed others into submission. Yet now, they were the ones fleeing, harried by a species they had dismissed as inferior. It was then, amid the growing chaos, that humanity's final message to the Nigma arrived, broadcasted across all channels, reaching every commander and soldier within the alien ranks. We warned you not to cross us. This is your last chance. Retreat, or face extinction. The Nigma, proud as they were, found themselves hesitating. This was no bluff. The human forces had proven far more formidable than anticipated. The commanders were left with a chilling realization. Humanity's strength wasn't merely in technology or tactics but in their relentless spirit. 
a willingness to adapt and fight against impossible odds without hesitation or fear. With this in mind, the Nigma High Command faced a choice they had never anticipated. Pride dictated they press on, but the losses and the sheer defiance of humanity were undeniable. The humans had drawn a line, and that line seemed immovable, reinforced by a power far beyond anything the Nigma had encountered. It was clear now that the humans were not merely defending territory. They were making a statement, cross their borders, and you would suffer. The Nigma Empire regrouped, still reeling from the shock of human resistance. The Empire's command wasn't ready to abandon its objective, not yet. This time, they assembled their largest fleet to date, bringing in their most advanced warships and commanders, each hardened by centuries of conquest. They would end this quickly, quelling the defiance of humanity with overwhelming power. When the invasion began, it was nothing short of cataclysmic. The fleet arrived in waves, swarming human territories, bombarding every outpost, and seizing each position with brutal efficiency. At first, it seemed humanity's defenses would crumble under such massive force. The Nigma expected that crushing momentum to drive fear into human hearts, compelling them to surrender. But, as the battle unfolded, humanity showed a level of cunning that the Nigma were unprepared for. Instead of fighting to hold every location, human forces tactically retreated, abandoning lesser positions to focus on the strategic ones. The Nigma advanced, only to find they were being funneled into specific zones, forced into tight sectors of space where their numbers offered less of an advantage. Once in these sectors, the human fleets closed in with precision strikes, isolating and targeting Nigma ships one by one. In addition to their smaller ships, humanity unveiled a new generation of battleships that hadn't been seen in prior skirmishes. These weren't the relics that the Nigma had come to expect. Equipped with quantum-powered cannons and sophisticated stealth technology, these ships hit hard and disappeared, leaving the Nigma scrambling to respond to an enemy that was everywhere and nowhere. Despite their size, the human ships moved with unsettling grace, striking in quick succession and then vanishing into the expanse, evading Nigma counterfire with ease. Every new tactic and countermeasure the Nigma tried was met by human ingenuity. Humanity's ability to analyze and anticipate the Nigma's approach was relentless. They had studied every formation, dissected every attack pattern, and prepared for each move. Commanded by AI that adapted with each battle, human ships operated with a level of precision and efficiency that made the Nigma feel as though they were battling against an enemy who knew their every thought. The Nigma commanders, who had always thrived on order and discipline, were rapidly losing control of their forces. Panic began to ripple through the ranks as they watched ship after ship fall to human traps and ambushes. Their communication lines were hacked, leaving Nigma forces disoriented as humanity broadcasted decoy orders that led groups into even more vulnerable positions. The Empire was caught in a whirlwind of human-led chaos, disoriented and fragmented. Frustration grew into fear as Nigma realized that this wasn't simply about human technology or strategy. It was their resolve. Human soldiers and commanders fought as if their very existence depended on it. No surrender, no hesitation. Even as Nigma forces tore through civilian regions, humanity retaliated tenfold, relentless in defending their people and their home. The Nigma had encountered powerful adversaries before, but nothing like this, nothing with this sheer, indomitable spirit. Amid the carnage, humanity's tactics escalated further. Guerrilla warfare tactics kept the larger, slower Nigma ships chasing shadows. Decoy fleets led them astray, wasting their energy and resources, while hidden flotillas would emerge from the dark to rain devastation on vulnerable sectors. For every inch the Nigma gained, humanity took back two. Each time the Nigma regrouped, human fleets would strike at their blind spots. Waves of fighters, designed to evade traditional scans, slipped through Nigma formations, dealing critical damage before vanishing back into obscurity. It was as if humans were everywhere, using the vastness of space as their battlefield, pushing the Nigma into a constant state of retreat and reevaluation. Nigma commanders finally faced a truth that none dared voice. They were losing control. Their overwhelming numbers, their advanced technology, none of it mattered against an enemy that defied every convention. 
human forces demonstrated an unsettling willingness to sacrifice everything to protect their people and repel the invaders, a determination that bordered on madness in the eyes of the Nyingma. Reports of the battles were sent back to Nyingma High Command, filled with scenes of devastation, humbling defeats, and confusion. The Empire's leaders grew uneasy, realizing that this was no ordinary conflict. They had assumed humanity would break under pressure, would submit to their dominance. But humanity didn't simply defend, they retaliated with an intensity and unity that no amount of training could replicate. This wasn't merely a fight for territory, it was a war to ensure the Nyingma would never cross human borders again. As the war dragged on, the once confident Nyingma forces began to falter, their morale crumbling in the face of this unyielding enemy. The relentless, adaptive tactics of humanity left them battered and disillusioned. Whispers began to circulate among Nyingma commanders. Perhaps this war was unwinnable. The humans, they realized, weren't fighting as mere soldiers. They fought as if they were defending the very essence of their existence, as if the survival of their species depended on the Nyingma's utter defeat. Every inch of ground lost was reclaimed with staggering ferocity. Every retreat met with a counterattack so decisive that the Nyingma had no time to regroup. Humanity's resolve was like a force of nature, an immovable object that ground the Empire's formidable machine to a halt. The Nyingma Empire, for all its history and power, found itself outmatched, caught in a nightmare they could not escape. Their initial confidence had faded, replaced by a dawning horror. This was not a battle they could simply win with superior numbers or advanced technology. The Nyingma Empire, bloodied and demoralized, faced a decision they had never contemplated. For millennia, they had been the uncontested power of the galaxy, their fleets spreading dominance and fear wherever they went. But now, that aura of invincibility was gone, shattered by a species they had once regarded as inferior. Humanity had not only resisted but had driven the empire to the edge of defeat. The Nyingma High Command met in a desperate council, their once proud confidence reduced to anxious whispers as they weighed their final options. Despite mounting losses, the Empire was determined to have one last stand. They rallied what remained of their forces, summoning every ship, every soldier, and every piece of technology to their homeworld. They fortified their defenses, assembling a blockade of such overwhelming firepower that even the most optimistic among them dared to hope it would be enough to end humanity's advance. But humanity, unrelenting and undeterred, launched their assault without hesitation. Unlike the previous attacks, this was an organized, decisive offensive, with fleets forming wave after relentless wave, coordinated by a unified command that struck with surgical precision. Humanity's forces were no longer a collection of independent skirmishes. They were a united armada, a seamless alliance of ships, technology, and purpose that left no room for error. As they breached the Empire's final defenses— the Nyingma commanders found themselves witnessing a nightmare unfold. Human ships, equipped with devastating new technology, tore through their once impenetrable shields. The Empire's last line of defense crumbled as the humans unleashed weaponry so advanced and destructive that it left the Nyingma forces scrambling, bewildered by the sheer magnitude of the assault. The Empire had always relied on their fearsome reputation, but humanity was beyond intimidation. They had seen the destruction, the relentless arrogance of the Nyingma, and they had decided to put an end to it. For every Nyingma ship that attempted to flee, a human vessel was there to intercept. For every defensive measure the Nyingma employed, humanity responded with brutal, unrelenting firepower. There would be no escape, no mercy. As the battle progressed, humanity made its intentions unmistakably clear. This was not a negotiation or a plea for peace. It was an execution of final judgment. The Nyingma, once so mighty, were now prey, hunted and cornered. Their cries for mercy went unanswered, each desperate signal intercepted and blocked by human command. The Empire's pride had led them to believe they were untouchable, but in the face of humanity's unwavering resolve, they saw the true consequence of underestimating their enemy. In their final moments, the remaining Nyingma commanders sent out pleas to the broader galaxy warning others of humanity's strength. Do not challenge them, they begged. They are relentless, ruthless, unyielding. 
Their messages were a stark contrast to the Nigma's former arrogance, a last, desperate attempt to preserve their legacy, if not their lives. But humanity had no intention of allowing even that. They silenced the broadcasts, ensuring that the final memories of the Nigma Empire would be as they intended, a quiet, unceremonious end. The vast empire, the conquerors of galaxies, the force that had once thought itself eternal, was erased from existence. The galaxy watched in stunned silence as the Nigma Empire was wiped from the stars, leaving a power vacuum where there had once been an unstoppable force. Humanity's message had been delivered not through words, but through the complete and uncompromising obliteration of their enemy. It was a message that rippled across the cosmos, a statement that would linger in the minds of every civilization. Humanity was not a species to challenge. As the dust settled, humanity withdrew its fleets, leaving only silence where the once mighty empire had stood. There was no celebration, no grand proclamation of victory, just the quiet understanding that a lesson had been taught. The galaxy understood that humanity would defend itself against any threat, no matter the cost, with a resolve that transcended fear and a unity that was impossible to fracture. In the aftermath, other civilizations scrambled to recalibrate their alliances and assess their stances toward this emerging power. Rumors spread quickly, tales of a species that had faced the Nigma Empire and left nothing but ashes in its wake. To those who doubted, the ruins of Nigma's homeworld were a stark reminder. The galaxy's respect had been earned, but it was born from a deep and abiding caution, a silent agreement that humanity was not to be provoked. With their work done, Humanity turned back to its own borders, leaving behind only one final message, broadcasted quietly but clearly to all who might hear. We warned you. It was not a threat, but a reminder, a boundary line, a silent but unbreakable shield against any who might come with hostile intent. The message hung in the stars long after humanity's ships disappeared, a lasting echo across the galaxy. And for the first time in memory, the galaxy's empires found themselves not just wary, but truly, deeply afraid.